So Mario's haters, okay, or so-called fans, are complaining about the new Mario RPG game. The game is not out until Friday, and the game, of course, has not leaked. Yay, for once. People didn't pirate the game early, so they can, you know, spoil the game for everybody online. And then, then, then they don't know why Nintendo's going after emulation, because these people will go around and pirate the game online, and play, instead of buying the game, they will, you know, play it for free, okay? You know, and then they wonder why Nintendo wants to stop emulation, okay? I get the whole thing of emulation is they want to preserve video games, okay? But what they're doing is they're emulating games you can buy full price, either on the Switch, eShop, or at the store. It's not just Nintendo games that are victim to it, obviously. Massive AAA games like Spider-Man 2 and, you know, the newest Call of Duty are probably also victim to this as well. Where people will buy the game before it comes out. And then, you know, this is probably why companies like Capcom are going against so-called leaks. Because... It can be damaging to the game. It can be damaging to the game as well. But this guy is complaining about why I pay 60 for a game that I played over 25 years ago. That I can play on a browser for free right now. This is Nintendo's biggest scumbag cash grab yet. First of all, not everybody grew up in the 90s and were able to play this game. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. Like, actual people who actually want to buy and play games. Who actually want to own games. Okay? You know... Who actually want to buy games that are hard-earned money and own them and play them and complete them, okay? 90% of people do not pirate games, okay? I hope so, but, you know, I, I get People can get angry at every video I talk about this, okay? People can get angry every single day, time. But it's, you know, I got the Wario game and the Super Mario game, okay? I don't play Wario well, but there are people who do well those games, okay? Wario well... As a game is doesn't really have a story, okay? It's a game that's kind of like a mobile game or a crack set of main games that's meant to be played over and over and over again. You know, it's for it's definitely one hundred percent for people, for casual gamers, okay, or party or for parties, okay. But these people, okay, first of all, not everybody grew up in the nineties, okay. I get these people love the nineties, okay. The nineties was the greatest era in gaming. Okay, the 90s was the greatest era in us, everything, the music, the games, the movies, nothing beats the 90s. It's the same thing of every era, honestly. Okay, people who grew up in the 2000s, like that I did, okay, we didn't get to grow up in Mario RPG. So for many people in Korean, people who grew up in the 2000s, or especially Gen Alpha, who have never heard of Mario RPG before, for they get to play the game for the first time. Without, you know, knowing anything about it. Especially considering the fact that people love the Wars of Xeno online. This is a lot of people's probably first experience outside of Super Smash Bros. Me costumes. With this character. People get to, will probably get, and you know, I think after this game releases, there probably will be an actual genuine movement to put Xeno in Smash Bros. Because Xeno is a beloved character because a lot of people love this game because of how original it is. You know, back when Nintendo actually cared about making original games, Nintendo's actually now moving back to how it used to be, finally. But instead of, you know, you know, but I think, hopefully, if this game sells well enough, Nintendo might consider making more original RPG games. Same thing with Paper Mario The Files Your Door, okay? I think Nintendo is trying to make Paper Mario more original game, but making an original villain and an original battle style that's unique to the series, Okay? But if they make more games like my RPG, I think nobody will be complaining about that because this is a well beloved game. And hopefully people actually buy the game and so Nintendo support for making my RPG, you know, remake a reality. Which a lot of people are, you know, ecstatic and excited for. Okay, even myself, I was like sucked like, Nintendo's actually making my RPG. Nintendo's actually bringing back these characters that people love. Or new people like me, I have never heard of Dino until Smash Bros. Discussions. Okay, until Smash Bros. Discussions. I didn't, I didn't even didn't know this character existed until Smash Bros. Discussions. Okay, you know, I didn't have, the reason I didn't want Smash Bros. I didn't have any connection with Dino in this game. Okay, and yeah. And, I, and now, the people who have been begging for this game to come back and these characters are now going to pirate the game instead. It's just so sad to see this. And it's going to be the same thing probably if I was in the door remastered. Instead of actually buying the game, they're just going to say, Oh, we don't want to play it because 
You can just play it for free on Dolphin Emulator instead of actually buying the game and, you know, experiencing it again on the Switch and on the TV, you know, like an actual normal person. And that's it about this video here. Goodbye.